What's up, guys? It's me, your badass history, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Moon walkthrough. Okay, so here we go with another tutorial video. Yeah, I'm not too happy about it. I really am not, because what made Nintendo or Pokemon, the Pokemon company, think that we needed this much tutorials? I don't know. But in our last episode, we managed to get the Rotom decks. As you can see, there is a nice Rotom you know, like, uh, kind of a, uh, uh, figure right there, and it shows the map where we're going and everything else, now the, of course, the, the, the red flag right there indicates that we, that's the next place we need to go, so let's go right ahead and do that, and, well, in our last episode two, we managed to capture ourselves an Alolan Radita, not going to use it because I kind of don't really need to, don't want to, and here we have a Slowpoke, I'm starting to think that maybe, just maybe I should start capturing some Pokemon. That way I can have a team assembled or anything like that. I don't know. Let's go ahead and find out. So, the uh, the plan is... Well, one of my biggest plans is to actually... Oh, crud. He's trying to put me to sleep right here. One of my biggest plans is to try and uh, trade out Pokemon here and there from Pokemon Sun and Moon. That way you guys can see a nice amount of Pokemon... Uh, going into this this whole walkthrough right here, um, I was actually thinking of you know showcasing the the Alolan forms. There there are one or two Pokemon that I kind of want to show into this game right here. Obviously, one of them has happens to be Alolan Raichu. The other one is going to be Alolan Sandslash. If you guys remember, I've actually I've actually had Sandslash or Alolan Sandslash on my team in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. So that's another one that I kind of want to. Kind of want to take care of now. As you can see here, we have Slowpoke, the Water and Psychic type Pokemon. Alone in home cooking's involved a dry and slow poke tails, and then simmering them down in a salty stew. That is disgusting, man. Why would you eat slow poke tails? I do not know. Why would you even have that on there? I don't even know. Pokemon's weird. I don't know, but that's three Pokemon on the team. Already beat everybody else right here, and I don't think I've ever take, taken. Uh, yeah, this guy is talking about the ledges that you can actually jump right here. Uh, before we go, actually, let's go straight to, uh, the next place right here, because there is a Pokemon Center waiting for us, and, well, Lily's like, hold on a moment, let me show you the Pokemon Center first. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon Center, see what's up. Look at this, okay, so, the Pokemon Center... If you talk to the woman on the counter, she can restore your Pokemon to perfect health. It's amazing, isn't it? I can't stand seeing Pokemon in pain. Now, you can also deposit your Pokemon in the PC here, or take them out. And then, at the Pokemart, you can buy all kinds of items that could, should help your uh, should help you during your trials. I'd take a look if I were you. And right there, we got, over there is the cafe area. I like to relax there sometimes with a frosty glass of Moo Moo Milk. I read something in a travel guide about Alola once. Apparently, each Pokemon Center in Alola offers a different selection of drinks. I wonder how they pick out or how they pick what to serve. The cafe may also offer more than just drinks. I've heard they also sell special treats and that sometimes the staff have tri tips for trail goers. Okay, all right. Okay, so we should head to the trainer school next, but have your Pokemon taken care of first if you think that they need a little aid. Whatever you say, baby. She's looking fine, fine. Okay, so here we are into the Pokemon Center. Let's go right ahead and start healing up some Pokemon. And let's see, what else do we need to do right here? We, we, we need to do a lot, okay? Now, as I was saying, there are some Pokemon that I want to showcase. There are some Pokemon I want to actually have on my team. Some new Pokemon that, you know, I want to try out and all that stuff. Keep it a little native and whatnot. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to post a... Uh, well, I'm going to put a few Pokemon back into the PC because I don't really need them right now. Let's see. Let's go ahead and put uh, Slowpoke in here too. Now, I know that I'm risking just having one Pokemon on my team. But trust me, I got this, guys. I got this. Now, let's go straight to the Pokemon right here. And, well, let's see what we can actually buy. Let's see. We got nine of those. We don't really need much. We can actually buy a few antidotes, two of them. And since I am a magnet for, you know, paralysis, let's go ahead and buy three of these little bastards. And just to finish it off, let's go ahead and grab three awakenings. And, well, don't want to use repels just yet. I just kind of want to just explore everything, see every single Pokemon we can actually find. And, well, 
like it says right there on the Rotom decks, we have to follow where the map or where the flag is. And our next destination is the trainer school. As you can see, Lily's like, here we are. You can see the trainer school is. It's it's a what in the world? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got a Toros here. Well, it looks like we won't be going that way anytime soon. Thanks to Toros there. But we were going uh we were only planning on going as far as the trainer school anyway. We'll just leave that for someone else to deal with. Come come and follow me. Okay, alrighty. So let's go straight into the trainer school and uh, see what this is all about right now. Let's see. What's up? How you doing? Hey there, Draven. I must have passed you two somehow. But welcome to the trainer school in the place to learn how to Pokemon to be a Pokemon trainer. Well, Professor Kukui, is this a the child you told me about? Yeah, put him through the ringer, teach. Four trainers. You got to be four trainers, uh, Pokemon trainers here at the school, Draven. The experience, the experience will surely help you and your Pokemon grow stronger. Yeah. Actually, speaking of experience, why don't you take this? And bam, we get ourselves the experience share, which will actually help uh, most of my Pokemon grow. If you keep that experience share on, yeah, all the Pokemon, you can, your team can get experience points from battle. The trainers who will take part in this lesson may be inside or outside of the school. You may also want to visit our classrooms. You'll sure learn a lot. All right, let the lesson begin. Okay, so, yeah. She may not look all that tough, but she teaches and trains her kids right. One of her students is even a captain. If you want a bit of advice from me, here's something that might help. Once you find a species of Pokemon once, you'll easily see what types of moves it will be work best on in the next battle. Wandering about in the tall grass to meet lots of different Pokemon will help with that. Battle all the time, oh yeah! Okay, so we have to find those kids and... Well... We do have the experience here. Maybe it's a good idea to actually grab those two Pokemon just in case. Now, not saying that I'm afraid. I'm just saying that maybe it's a good idea to actually have them onto the team. Now that we got the experience share, may actually help them out a little bit. Even though they're not the two best, best of Pokemon right now. So, let's grab those guys and go back straight to this trainer school. And let's go ahead and take care of business right now. Let's go ahead and take care of business. Okay, so the red flag, of course, indicates where we need to go. And it does have four Pokemon trainers. So let's go ahead and find those four trainers. Now, it's also good to actually grab some items. We got, we found a potion right here. And here is a trainer, I think. Huh. I've been waiting here for you because the teacher told me to. If you beat my Pokemon, I will give you a simple but important lesson. Okay, so here we go. Let's go right ahead and start taking on some uh, some trainers right here. And here we have a youth athlete, Hiromi, wanting to take us on. And she will be coming out with her piggy pack. Piggy pack. I love saying that word. Piggy pack, piggy pack, piggy pack. And here we go with Joker. Ready to go. Ready to kick some butt. And, well, let's go right ahead and use a little bit of water gun. Soak this piggy pack. But, of course, it has to be faster than us. And here it comes. The water gun. Not for the win, but it does do a nice amount of damage. So here we go again with another water gun. And here comes the echoed voice. Holy crud. Joker, you're getting creamed right here. So there we go. Water gun for the win. No more piggy pack. And, well, all our Pokemon are getting experience points. And, well, that's the, that's the name of the game. We're just kicking your butt, taking names and stuff. So let's see what the lesson has to be with this person. If you use items or moves that boost your uh, team stats, you can increase how much damage your Pokemon deal in less than how, they, how much they take. If you ever want to be a Pokemon champion, then that's a total basic. You got that? Sure, why not? I think I've already knew that. Again, not a big fan of this whole tutorial thing. Now, there is something waiting for us right here. Could be wrong. There it is. Found ourselves a Pokeball. And, well, let's go right ahead and uh, keep on moving on right here. Let's go ahead and uh, find another trainer. There's a trainer right there, but I am looking for items too. So let's go right ahead and grab this item. And look at that. We found ourselves a potion. Can never go wrong with too many potions right here, guys. And, well... Okay, so let's go ahead and start battling this guy. See what he's all about. 
You want to know why I'm standing here? Because I'm the strongest. That's why. I won't even bother battle battling you unless you can beat everyone else here. Huh. Okay, cocky little prick. Let's go right ahead and uh, battle everybody else. That way we can, uh, you know, mop the floor with this guy. Okay, so let's see what this kid's all about. He looks at me. He's like, I'll teach you the tactics that I learned here at the school by beating you with them. Okay, alrighty. Let's do this. So here we go, another battle, and we're taking on uh, Youngster Joey. Wow, how many Youngster Joeys are there in this Pokemon world? I want to know. It's been the most popular name out there. Okay, so here we go. Joker ready to go. Let's do this. Probably should have picked up a piggy peck along the way, but here we go. Water gun. And the water gun nearly takes out Metapod, but here comes Metapod and it's strong as Harden right here. Holy crud. Oh my god. Oh my god. Harden. And look at that. How's it feel to fail? Not so much. Not very much. Yeah, buddy. So there we go. We grow to level 11. And, well, it wants to learn baby doll eyes. I think... I think I should uh, I should teach it that. Let's see. Baby doll eyes is the user stares at the target with baby doll eyes, which lowers its attack stat. This will always go first. Okay, so let's go ahead and replace Growl. Don't necessarily need it. Well, I guess mine is much more of an upgrade than anything. And look at that. Slowpoke without doing anything grows to level 6. And yes, your tactics do not work. You should probably evolve that Metapod. You probably should. And well, poisoning an opponent will slowly drain its HP. Paralyzing them can prevent its attacks. Pokemon moves have all kinds of effects, so watch out for them. Okay, alrighty. Alright, so we are in a grassy area. Right here, you'll be able to find some interesting Pokemon, which... Gotta have my eye on one or two, maybe. And here we go. Going up against one of these guys. And this guy happens to be Alolan Meowth. Not the best Pokemon, but still it's something. It's still a good Pokemon. And, well, it is a Dark-type Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and uh, take a scratch from it. And use a Disarming Voice. Just to lower its HP right there, look at that. And Alola Meowth is weakened. So let's go ahead and add this guy to the, to the team right here. We're not really going to use him on our team, but you know. Just put one more Pokemon into the in, into the collection right here. And look at this. Three. Stay in the ball. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Look at that, guys. We caught ourselves Alolan Meowth. Gained a few experience points. And, well, let's see what this Pokedex entry will say about Alolan Meowth. Why is it an Alolan Meowth? An Alolan Meowth. Look at that. It's registered. And, well, we got 3% of these things. And, of course, it is a Scratch Cat Pokemon. It is a Dark-type Pokemon. When its delicate pride is wounded, or when the gold coin on its forehead is dirty, it flies into a hysterical rage. So this is a different kind of Pokemon right here. More of a feral type of uh, Meowth and all that crud. Alright, so let's see. Did we grab that item? No, we didn't. Okay, let's grab this item. We got ourselves another paralysis heal, which is definitely needed. And, well, let's see. I wonder if we can find another one right here. Another Pokemon. There are two other Pokemon that you can find here. And would you look at that? Alolan Grimer. Now, this is a Pokemon right here that I kind of want to use for the first part of my team. So let's go right ahead and weaken this guy. Let's go. Okay, alrighty, look at that. Okay, so here comes a poison gas attack. That can't be good. Holy crud. Okay. Oh crud, okay, 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 okay. That that right there is bad. That's bad, bad, bad. Okay, so let's go ahead and try and capture this Pokemon right here. Throw a Pokeball at it. There we go. Stay in the ball, homeboy. Stay in the ball. Damn it! Okay. So this can't be good right now because it's using its Harden. We are kind of losing HP every time we uh, we go at this. Should we risk it or should we not? Let's go ahead and risk it. The Pokemon Center's close by. So here we go. Pound attack. And Homie here is using its Harding attack every single time. And well, we are losing HP. We got to go with one more. One more pound attack. Just so we can grab this Grimer right here now. 
There we go, and no more poison gas, and... Alrighty, so we're losing HP, but guess what? We are going to capture this Grimer right here, so... Here we go, Pokebola, go! Oh yes, stay in a ball! Stay in a freaking ball! Stay in a ball! Yes! Alrighty, so there it is, guys! We caught ourselves a Nalolan Grimer... And, well, if you if you guys notice right there, it says Care. If you press the Y button, you will be able to heal your Pokemon right away. So, let's go ahead and take a look at Alolan Grimer first. Look at this guy. Bam. Registered and ready to go. Okay, so why don't you check the kind of Pokemon you got. So, here we have Alolan Grimer. It is both a Dark and Poison type Pokemon. The Alolan form is pretty cool. The crystals on Grimer's body are lumps of toxins. If one falls off, lethal poisons leak out. Hmm, would you look at that now? This is a Pokemon I kind of want to add on to the team. want to showcase it just a little before I start replacing Pokemon here and there. So let's go ahead and name it as something. And I've already got a perfect name for this guy. There we go. Dump Truck. There we go. So welcome to the team, Dump Truck. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but we got a dump truck ready to go. And yes, he has been added to our team. And unfortunately, I didn't press the Y button quick enough, so I couldn't heal my Pokemon. So let's go ahead and use one of these repet or these uh, well, these uh, antidotes, I should say. And start using some potions here. Do not want to go to the Pokemon Center just yet, but all the crap. There we go, dump truck. He's getting some points right here. So yes, Dump Truck, the next Pokemon on our team that will actually be showcased for quite some time. Now, one thing that attracted me to this Pokemon is the fact that you know, I've never necessarily, I, I never really used this guy. I never really used them. Hell, I never even used a Grimer or Monk ever on my team. And uh, ever since these Alolan variants came out, it just, it, it just fascinated me. What kind of uh, attacks would this Pokemon actually use? or have or anything or what what kind of advantages would it have so that's what I'm trying to do right here into this walkthrough is showcase quite a few Pokemon that I've never used before and then at the very end just pick a team have a team that you know will dominate this whole Alolan region and all that stuff so the other Pokemon that you can actually find here is a Magnemite it's actually very often you can find it it's frequent so now, let's just complete our little task right here. Uh, okay, so we defeated two people. And let's see, there is a item right here. And we found ourselves a Great Ball. Could have used that on... Uh, yeah, could have used that on our Pokemon right there. So let's go right ahead and go inside the Pokemon school. Maybe there, are, maybe there's, a, there's some other people in here. And uh, yeah, you just can't enter the door anymore. You have to press A. So let's go ahead and open that up and see what we can find. And now... Here is a classroom. You can go ahead and talk to this instructor. And he's like, we occasionally ask Professor Kakui to run a special class for our school. He's done a great deal of research into Pokemon moves, after all. Oh, you don't say. Okay, so there's a writing on the blackboard. It describes how many types match up. So, let's see. We got grass is weak to fire. Water is weak to grass. Fire is uh, weak to water. There's so many more, or there are many more types, too. And they have their own weaknesses, just like these three. Okay. And, well... I'm trying to get around right here. Let's see, writing on the walls. Okay, so we already we've already written, uh, we've already seen this one right here. Now let's see, is there another item that we can actually grab? I do not know. Let's go ahead and grab this. I can read, watch here, moves like this, yada yada yada. Okay, so we don't need to talk to these people right here. There's usually somebody here that will actually grab us an item or give us something. Okay, so let's go right ahead and walk right here and apparently there's this uh, beautiful lady right here. He's like, look at your Pokemon. Whether it has any claws or not now, it it would probably get a kick out of this one. And look at this. We grabbed ourselves a quick claw. Something very, very useful. And well, in battles, the Pokemon with the highest speed stat gets to act first. But with a quick claw, your Pokemon should be able to attack first regardless of its speed or sometimes anyway. It's better than nothing. It is. It's better than anything else right here. And well, there's nothing right here just right now. I think we have to do. We have to wait for the daytime and all that crud. So, let's see. I think this is a student. Now, before we do anything, let's go ahead and give that quick claw to a Pokemon right here. Obviously, we're gonna give that to Joker because you know it's slow AF right now. It is slow. So let's go ahead and talk to her. And she looked at us. He's like, "Boy, you're awful close." 
Stand so close, I want to battle you. Is that what you want, huh? Is it? Yes, it is. Okay, so here we go. Another Pokemon battle. And this one's going to be... Preschooler Mia. And, well... All these Pokemon trainers, most of these Pokemon trainers only have one Pokemon. And right now, we do have a good type advantage against this Bonsly. So... Let's go ahead and continue with this onslaught right here with the water gun. Here we go, water gun, let's go. And Bonsly has been defeated. Yeah, so easily. Oh yes, and Slowbug grows to level 7 without doing anything, and Raditz too. Look at that. Look at that, we're kicking some butt. I don't know why you're happy of losing, I just don't know. So I think that was three trainers. And well, we gotta go upstairs. See what, see what else we can find right here. And well, let's see. There is a trainer right here. I think the trainers who will take part in this lesson may be inside or outside the school. You may also want to visit our classrooms. You'll sure learn a lot. Okay, so can't go there just yet. Let's go in here. I think yes, we can. And, well, there is an individual here waiting for us, and he's like, Slow Post John is a move that can put your opponent to sleep in battle. When a Pokemon is asleep, it, cannot, it can't do anything until it wakes up, so it can give you a chance against a Pokemon you're having trouble with. Huh. Like legendary Pokemon. Yeah, like legendary Pokemon. And, well, there is another door right here. And let's just go ahead and open this one up. And it looks like right here that we can actually get an item, so let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Abilities are basically special skills all Pokemon have that can make uh, special things happen. Take uh, the ability called Limber, for example. Any Pokemon who has the ability or that ability won't ever be paralyzed by an opponent's own moves. Hmm, true, 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 true. Okay, so if all my Pokemon had Limber, that would be awesome. And, well... Okay, so this guy's teaching me how to... Yeah, and look at that. We got ourselves a potion from this guy. And it's talking about lily pups that you know actually get these Pokemon, or that actually get uh, they actually have a pick up the peak the pick. Oh, wow, I can't even speak right now. The pickup ability. And well, let's see. Okay, so I've already. Okay, so I don't think I should be going right here now. So let's see. Maybe right here. Maybe no. Am I missing something? I, I kind of feel like I'm missing something right here. Uh, maybe I should be talking to somebody else. Let's see. Okay, talk to this. Sort of ability. Nothing else. Okay, talk to this guy. Strategy, you want to play a huge help. Okay, so nobody wants to battle me right here. And, well, let's see. I think we're already done with that. I think we have to go battle the guy outside. You know, that little cuck, cocky bastard right there. So, let's go right ahead and show him, uh, show him who's boss around here in the school area. Now, if only it was that easy for, like, the real-life school version and all that stuff. Damn. Okay. Oh, so he's ready. You want to know why I'm, uh, I want to be the strongest? Because it's cool to be strong, duh. Okay. Okay, so he thinks he's, uh, he thinks he's strong. So let's go right ahead and show him who's boss right here. Rising Star Joseph wants the battle. And, well, he is going to be coming out with an Alolan Grimer right here. Okay. Let's see what you're doing. Lolan Grimer. Here we go with Poplio. And, well, let's see. We are not super effective against this guy, but we can still beat it. So here we go with a water gun. And here comes a Grimer Harden attack. Yeah, not. Yeah, that's not going to do much. So let's go ahead and switch it up. Let's go with a disarming voice. Hopefully that will actually work since it is part dark type. And that right there doesn't do much. But here comes a bite attack. Hits us pretty hard right there. Alright, let's go ahead. Finish this guy off with a quick claw. And let's go with a water gun attack. Yeah, buddy. Say goodbye to Grimer. Look at that. Grimer just wasn't enough. And we grow to level 12. Look at you, Joker. Kicking some butt. And Meowth, of course, grows to level 7. And Rising Star Joseph is like, It's extremely frustrated, but you're stronger than me. I've always been stronger than you. It's just, you know, you're too cocky and stuff. So, okay. So, after defeating this guy, he's like, uh, no, that wasn't cool at all. Maybe I should aim for being pretty instead. But fine, whatever. I can admit when I'm beat. I'll give you a reward even. Take this technical machine. 
And here we have the TM01 workup, which, well, boosts all our stats right there. Okay, the first thing to know about TMs is technical machines teach new techniques. They'll give your Pokemon a new move in a flash, but if you can't, if your Pokemon can't learn the move in a TM, then that's too bad. You're, you're up the creek, pal. Second thing to know about TMs, you can use TMs as many times as you want on as many po uh, different Pokemon as you want. If they don't wear out or get used up, pretty nice gift from me, huh? It is. Very, very nice gift from a cocky little you-know-what. And here's Lily, and she's like, oh, that's a school bell. Attention all students. Would Draven please come up to the second uh, floor of the office? Draven to the second floor office, please. What terrible thing did you get called in for now? Oh, wow. Uh, well, I'm just gonna put well. So you did do something. Yeah, kind of, kind of embarrassed this kid right here. Humiliated him. <laughs> okay, so let's go back up to the second floor. See what the the principal wants to talk to us about. Hopefully, it was something uh pretty uh, awesome. You know, I don't know. And here is the professor or principal, whatever she is, Draven. I can't believe that you beat all of my students. Fantastic. After seeing such a performance, I think I'd like to battle you myself. What do you say? Are you ready to take me on? I'm always ready. As a teacher, I've got to see for myself what you did to beat my all four of my students. Okay, so here we go. We're ready to take on teacher Emily right here. And she, well, she doesn't have two Pokemon ready for us. So here she comes out with a Magnemite. Now this right here is going to be a challenge because, yeah, Magnemite, electric type Pokemon. Not a very good type matchup right here. So, let's go ahead and... Let's see. Huh. Yeah, I don't necessarily... Wait, hold on just a sec. Okay, now I could use Slowpoke right here. There, it doesn't have any moves. And then Rattata. Yeah. You know what? Screw it. <sighs> let's go right ahead and tank it straight forward right here. Uh, I know for a fact Magnetite is a... Or Magnemite is a Steel and Electric type Pokemon. So we have a double disadvantage on this guy. But we are pretty strong. We're just going to have to be able to take this uh, Thundershock right here. And, well... Here we go again, another water gun attack for the win. Damn it! Oh my god, no, 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 god dang it. And there goes Joker. Holy crap, okay. Time to use Dump Truck right here. Let's go ahead and, uh. <laughs> Hopefully, Dump Truck can do something right here, okay? We got it weakened for you. Let's go ahead and use that pound attack, and here comes a Thundershock. Oh my god, oh my god, okay, so that nearly defeats us, and there we go, Magnemite has been defeated. Oh man, what a way to grow up right now, and Dump Truck grows to level 7 right now. And it's learned Bite, so this is actually very, very good for us. And, well, let's see, it's going to be coming out with a Meowth, so let's go ahead and take on this Meowth. Oh god, okay, so Meowth level 9... Shouldn't be that hard. Let's go ahead and use a poison gas attack right here. And here comes a scratch attack. Not so powerful. But yes, we're going to weaken this guy. We're going to be strategic magic right here with the poison gas. And yes, you are poisoned. So little by little, you're going to be weakened. And well, let's go ahead and use something in our arsenal right here. So yeah, there's no revives right now. Let's go ahead and use a potion. Give it to dump truck right here. Okay, alrighty, so Dump Truck, you are now healed again, and go ahead, keep on using your Scratch attacks. you're just going to be weakened by this whole poison, and you know what, that's not a bad idea, that is not a bad idea right now, so let's go right ahead and go straight for the lessons that these guys have taught me, let's go ahead and, uh, well, get hit again, because we're slower, and here we go, Hardened Attack, alrighty, so go ahead and uh, keep on hurting us, we're still winning. Alrighty, so there's a Hurt by Poison. Let's go ahead and use a Pound Attack right here. How ironic is it that I, you know, you guys are using the same moves or the same strategies that you guys were trying to teach me. And look at that, you're getting hit double time. Look at that, Meowth, not feeling, well, not feeling the luck, not as the, it, well, it's not the luckiest Pokemon right now. And here comes another Bite Attack, well, here comes Dump Truck's Pound Attack. Yeah, buddy. Look at that, okay, okay. Meowth, you're getting your butt kicked right now, so Dump Truck, finish him! And... Oh crud, oh crud, okay, so there we go. Pound attack, 
for the win. Say goodbye to Meowth. Look at you. And Dump Truck, just like that. Had to grow up quickly. Grows to level 8. And, well, Slowpoke grows to level 8 as well. And Emily has been, been defeated. She's like, sensational! Mm-hmm. Very sensational. That's what everybody says. Nice! Maybe you'd like to take over as a teacher here for me. All joking aside, though, I do want you to take these uh, from me. A little reward for beating me. And we get ourselves five Great Balls. And, well, they're Great Balls. Great Balls are better than ke uh, catching Pokemon than normal Pokeballs. Okay. Know your Pokemon and know your know their moves. Those are uh, those are the basics of being a trainer. How about it? Hmm. Who is that? Greetings, Captain Ilma here. I couldn't help to serve your battles. You looked so very delightful in battle that I had no choice but to summon you here. This is Draven, who moved here from Alo or moved here to Alola from the Kanto region. He's got a real sense of how to use moves, and I think he's gonna go far as a trainer. Yeah. I see. Then welcome, newcomer. I look forward to seeing your brill uh, the brilliance of your moves in my trial. Indeed, we captains are the ones who conduct the trials you will face on your way to challenging the island Kahuna. My trial is held in Verdant Cavern, the trial of the Captain Ilma. You can find Pokemon living everywhere, even in the patches of tall grasses in the Haole City. Perhaps you want to fill your team up a bit before you attempt in my trial. I sincerely look forward to your challenge. Yeah, okay, alright, whatever you say, Omi. Oh yeah. I reported to, to the folks upstairs about the Tauros blocking the road out in front. That's the guy, or that that guy's Tauros is pretty much a celebrity here in Mele Mele, you know? Well, I guess it's time for uh, that we dismiss you from school, Sir Draven. Attention all students! Draven has completed his lesson at the trainer school. That is cool. That is awesome. Okay, all right. So, be good to your Pokemon and try and follow through with those status conditions too. Good luck on your Allen challenge. I hope you get close to a lot. No, uh, well, I hope you get close to a lot of new people. Draven, enjoy your Allen challenge and be sure to use uh, the skills you've learned here at the trainer school. Good luck, future champion. Make sure you use that TM. Make your Pokemon the strongest. Show them what you're made of, Draven. And the girlfriend right here. Give it a kiss. You seem to be perfect in sync with your poet popular, aren't you? Um, since we've come this far together, why don't you? Why don't I show you more of the city? Come on, there's lots to see. Okay, whatever you say. I don't mind spending a lot of time with you. Okay, alrighty. So, let's see. We're coming out of the school, and, well, there she is, looking beautiful as always. Draven, over here. Okay, so we're gonna be, okay, so we're gonna be walking by, okay. Look at her, you know? I was really impressed seeing you how you battled with your Pokemon at the trainer school. And even back when you weren't yet a Pokemon trainer, Draven, you were able to save Nebby. You were chosen by your Pokemon so quickly, I understand why now. Oh, I forgot about the Tauros. Hmm. Okay, so there is a Tauros waiting, and well, more. Hmm. What's going on here? Huh? If it isn't Lillian Draven. Sorry for scaring you, friend. I guess it's time I get old Tauros back home. Oh, but why don't you give him a little pat first, Draven? Sure, why not? Let's give him a pat. You'll like me. Ball. And do you like me or not, or whatever? <laughs> See that this rescue, this rascal already loves you. Pokemon become happier when we show them uh, some care. That is true. That is very, very true. And th that is something that we're going to be learning very, very soon here in this game. <laughs> oh, the place you'll go, child. And as you do, you surely meet more Pokemon and people who will enrich your life. Mm, there he is, waving goodbye. The Kahunas are sure something, eh? Able to claim or call my raging Pokemon without even needing to battle. Now that's something. I mean, I like Tauros plenty and all, but it's pretty scary, and I don't want to ride on it. So where are you two off now? I was thinking I should show Draven around Holy uh, City a bit. Nice idea. You're always on top of things, Lily. Draven just got here to Alola, huh? 
Man, let me tag along too. I want to get a uh, go get something good to eat. Okay, alrighty. So, uh, all right, let's go together. Then what are we waiting for? This way. Come on. Okay, so our adventure continues right here, and huh? Oh how? I guess we should catch up with them before he gets too far driven. Holy City is the biggest city in all Alola. You don't say. Okay, so. We're going to pause our adventure right here, guys. It literally has been nearly 40 minutes. This whole adventure, the beginning of the adventure is just, you know, it is what it is. I can't even change it. So stay tuned in the next adventure or the next episode. We will be going through some more stuff. I don't know what it is. Can't remember. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. So see you guys.